In usual Rockstar fashion, they bury things in the code that modders and data miners can pull out so that we can see what's coming. In this video, I'm going to showcase all of those items that are coming and give a little explanation on why I think they aren't here yet. Before we get into the video though, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Ridge Wallet. They're actually running a special promotion from today right up to the 7th of December 2021, where if you use my coupon DIRTY, you will get 15% off. This is perfect timing for those of you who may have been thinking of getting this for a Christmas gift for somebody, and it really is a decent wallet. It's small and compact and even has a money clip so you can store your cash and has over 40,000 5 star reviews. It also has RFID blocking and comes in over 30 different colors and styles. The code word dirty normally gets you 10% off but again running up to the 7th of December will get you 15% off. Before the quick draw passes even dropped I was predicting that there was going to be different colorways of different items based on the images that we got. The Dunster shirt was clearly a blue variant in this image right here, but we only ever got the red variant in the game. These were actually leaked four months ago by a user by the name of Snake 4 over on Reddit, which at first I thought was Photoshop, but while messing around with mods, I actually found one of the items in the game and decided to make a video. I really think the reason that Rockstar didn't add these variants in the game is actually because they wanted the quick draw passes to have more value. If people saw they could actually purchase a variant from the tailor, maybe they wouldn't have purchased the quick draw pass itself. So I think it's very likely that we're going to see these getting released at some point before the end of the year. It is possible that we could see these getting released before the December update and it will be interesting to know if these will be limited time items or will these be regular full stock items. We haven't seen returning limited time stock in a long time so if you do see something that you would like here I would keep an eye on it in the upcoming weeks. With all this said, I'm now going to just do a showcase of all of the clothing items that are going to be unlocked. There is one that I am missing, which I couldn't find in the code files, which is the Dunster cardigan and vest. So just keep that in mind that that as well will be coming in some different variants.
So that is all of the variants that are in the code and we should be seeing them in the future. As I said at the start of the video, I think that we will see them in the coming weeks. And if they're not going to drop a winter update in the next week or two, we could see them then. A lot of people always ask me, do I actually think there will be an update in December? And yes, I definitely think there's going to be a December update. I don't know what we're going to get in the December update. Though. I don't have a huge expectations for it though. I think what we most likely see is probably going to be an extension of a roll. Just because last year we did see the extension of the bounty hunter roll with an extra 10 levels. So we could see an extension to one of the existing roles. Last year, GameStar did an interview with Scott Butchard, who works as a designer at Rockstar, and he pretty much told us that we were going to get an expansion to an action-packed role, which everyone kind of realized was the Bounty Hunter, which we did get. He also went on to say that the future of Red Dead Online will revolve around the future development of these roles with meaningful play opportunities and possibly the introduction of further professions. So I do think that the expansion on one of those roles seems quite likely will it just be a small few levels with a few new items that you can kind of work through or will it be a little bit more expansive we'll say similar to like how the moonshiner role had like a property maybe you advance in a certain way where you set up a shop or something like this so that said i'm not sure how excited i would be personally for an extension to the collector role for example i mean it was it is a great way to make money selling collections but at this point i genuinely think that we all need things to to buy with either cash or gold we have enough ways to make cash and gold in the game now we genuinely just need things to actually own like it's been three years and the game is full of poor millionaires there's loads of people that have a huge amount of cash and gold and they still sleep rough in the woods i mean we're essentially homeless like even though we have so much money we should be able to easily buy a shack somewhere like in any case though i am looking forward to see what is going to be in store for us and I honestly hope Rockstar gets their act together. They really do need to add some serious content and give us something to actually spend our hard earned money on. Massive thanks to everyone who supports this channel, especially to the members, you guys are awesome. Also, special thanks to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, you get 15% off from now up to December 7th by using code word DIRTY. And that's it. All right, people, I'll catch you in the next video.